Hello everybody, and um, I've gotten a few questions about making a Left 4 Dead 2 with server without port forwarding. And I guess I somewhat have an answer for anybody who's looking for something like this. Um, well, first of all, you can't really make a true server without port forwarding. There's just no way, because people can't connect to you otherwise. But what you can do if you are just wanting to play with your friends or just play with random people on survival and build bases, what I do for fun every once in a while, you can just set up a local server game. And I'll, I'll show you guys how you can do this. And you can do the same things. You can do all the mods. You can fly. You can do tank rush. You can shoot lasers out of your guns. You can get all that source mod stuff, admin menu, everything. But you have to be on the server to have everybody connect to it. And another few things you need to know is too many mods will crash your game. It's just how it is. Left 4 Dead 2 is not meant for local modded games. And I think that's about it. But you do need a beefier computer as well. Something on the better side. Like I have a AMD Phenom X6 1090T overclocked. But okay, anyway, getting getting to uh, what we need to do. So everyone, you just need to go to the program files 86, the Steam Apps folder, basically where your Left 4 Dead 2 is installed. Uh, Steam Apps, Common, oh, whoops. Common, Left 4 Dead 2, Left 4 Dead 2, and add-ons. So basically, you're going to take all that source mod stuff, and you are going to install it in here. And then all that CFG stuff, you're going to put it in here. And that's pretty much it. So I I guess I can show you guys if you really want. I've got to find my Left 4 Dead 2 stuff. So, oh yeah, basically, you're just going to go to your Left 4 Dead 2 stuff. Mine, I believe, is right here. Yep. So this is where my dedicated server is. So I would just take my meta mod and my source mod. I would put it in this folder. Then I would take the CFG source mod, put it in this folder, and then make sure you put your server dot uh, CFG in here, and that's all you need to do to have all the mods and all that stuff. No port forwarding needed. And then you would just get into a game. You would go to whatever mode you want. I, I like survival, so I'm just gonna use that as an example. So you would just go to Left 4 Dead 2, the survival. Then uh, under the servers. There's a dedicated, and there's official, and then there's another one, and it's called local. You have to set it to that, so it's set to local. And then you can have people join in through the lobby, or you can just join, like, start the game by yourself, and people should be able to join. Now, this did work for me before. I don't know if Left 4 Dead changed something, because I haven't played Left 4 Dead in a while. Because, I, I don't know, I'm just bored of it. I've been playing League of Legends and StarCraft 2. So, yeah, that should get you started and you could just activate all the commands same way you would the only other thing you need to know is at the beginning of the game as soon as you start execute the server cfg which is exec space server dot cfg and that's all you need to do and it should work if you have any questions please comment and i should be able to help thank you